I enrolled for embedded systems. Introduction to data analytics and machine learning. So introduction to modern application development. Project planning and control. So introduction to programming in Sikyata. So I did the health research fundamentals. Introduction to airplane performance. This is my 11th exam. I have a certificate. I am an associate professor in chemistry at Pachayapas College, Chennai. Research scholar. I am a scientist in DRDO. I am a TVS group. I am a pediatrician. I am working in Chennai port. I am 17 years old now. Completed my 12th. Working at Yava Motors R&D. I am working in the IDR Cancer Institute in Chennai. I feel much happy to attend this exam. Learning experience is excellent. Whatever the questions posted in the forum, it's immediately being answered. That is an amazing work what they are doing at really. With respect to NPTEL, the quality of lectures and delivery, the contents to the students, no doubt, unquestionable. And it's too good. The examination today, I really enjoy. I've been traveling more than two hours uh, daily. I was just hearing that entire video conversation throughout my journey, like not sitting in the home. was working in a different domain totally uh, like mainframes so the course which I took was introduction to modern application development so this uh, course was very helpful because I've learned new technologies the course content was very extraordinary to be precise even if you compare to other websites uh, they don't offer certification like uh, MIT or uh, any Carnegie Mellon open course but this is a very good initiative by the IITs and IACs which can improve the standard of education. I was expecting to get gold medal by IIT but I don't know it will be there or not. It's a nice opportunity for people outside of IITs to be able to take an exam that is conducted by IIT so the standards are pretty good obviously. I have learned more in these three months than taking some papers in the college. Even at the age of 50 plus we are getting some enthusiasm to go through all these lectures and all those things. Another person from my college has taken it in another center and both of us feel that the teaching was absolutely brilliant throughout the course and it's not only theory, even practice is there. He went, they actually showed us through the flight lab and they actually had very, very practical examples. For youngster, definitely it is useful. But this type of courses, if you find in other places, it is very, very costly. But here it is, uh, for learning purpose, it is cheap. For obtaining a certificate, it is only a nominal fees. I appreciate uh, the initiative of MHRD and uh, the uh, strenuous efforts taken by uh, the IIT groups for uh, providing uh, uh, the latest and uh, technically sound education on online mode. This is the first time I felt that uh, some course for uh, working professionals and uh, it is well organized as such. Nowadays uh, doctors are expected to do a lot of research also apart from seeing patients. So this course helped me to learn a lot. It was a nice experience. It's wonderful in sitting along with the students and solving the problems makes us to be more concentrated with the course to have a better deliverability of the content to the recent trends are in par with the reputed institutions. This course is really like, uh, you know, bringing a bridge across what we are doing now and what we are going to do in the future. program will be the harbinger of a big intervention in India in the area of online education so that we can address the grand challenge of providing high quality and useful education to a very very large number, probably the largest number of youngsters in the world.
I enrolled for embedded systems. Introduction to data analytics and machine learning. So introduction to modern application development. Project planning and control. So introduction to programming in Sikyata. So I did the health research fundamentals. Introduction to airplane performance. This is my 11th exam. I have certificate. I am an associate professor in chemistry at Pachayapas College, Chennai. Research scholar. I am a scientist in DRDO. I employed in a TVS group. I am a pediatrician. I am working in Chennai Port. I am 17 years old now. Completed my 12th. Working at Yava Motors R&D. I'm working in the RDR Cancer Institute in Chennai. I feel much happy to attend this exam. Learning experience is excellent. Whatever the questions posted in the forum, it's immediately being answered. That is an amazing work what they are doing at really. With respect to NPTEL, the quality of lectures and delivery, the contents to the students, no doubt, unquestionable. And it's too good. The examination today I really enjoy. I've been traveling more than two hours uh, daily. I was just hearing that entire video conversation throughout my journey, like not sitting in home. was working in a different domain totally uh, like mainframes so the course which I took was introduction to modern application development so this uh, course was very helpful because I've learned new technologies the course content was very extraordinary to be precise even if you compare to other websites uh, they don't offer certification like uh, MIT or uh, any Carnegie Mellon open course but this is a very good initiative by the IITs and IACs which can improve the standard of education. I was expecting to get gold medal by IIT but I don't know it will be there or not. It's a nice opportunity for people outside of IITs to be able to take an exam that is conducted by IIT so the standards are pretty good obviously. I have learned more in these three months than taking some papers in the college. Even at the age of 50 plus we are getting some enthusiasm to go through all these lectures and all those things. Another person from my college has taken it in another center and both of us feel that the teaching was absolutely brilliant throughout the course and it's not only theory, even practice is there. He went, they actually showed us through a flight lab and they actually had very, very practical examples. For youngster, definitely it is useful. But this type of courses, if you find in other places, it is very, very costly. But here it is, uh, for learning purpose, it is cheap. For obtaining a certificate, it is only a nominal fees. I appreciate uh, the initiative of MHRD and uh, the uh, strenuous efforts taken by uh, the IIT groups for uh, providing uh, uh, the latest and uh, technically sound education on online mode. This is the first time I felt that uh, some course for uh, working professionals and uh, it is well organized as such. Nowadays, uh, doctors are expected to do a lot of research also apart from seeing patients. So this course helped me to learn a lot. It was a nice experience. It's wonderful in sitting along with the students and solving the problems makes us to be more concentrated with the course to have a better deliverability of the content to the recent trends are in par with the reputed institutions. This course is really like, uh, you know, bringing a bridge across what we are doing now and what we are going to do in the future. program will be the harbinger of a big intervention in India in the area of online education so that we can address the grand challenge of providing high quality and useful education to a very very large number, probably the largest number of youngsters in the world.
I enroll for embedded systems. Introduction to data analytics and machine learning. So introduction to modern application development. Project planning and control. So introduction to programming in Sikyata. So I did the health research fundamentals. Introduction to airplane performance. This is my 11th exam. I have certificate. I am an associate professor in chemistry at Pachayapas College, Chennai. Research scholar. I am a scientist in DRDO. I employed in a TVS group. I am a pediatrician. I am working in Chennai port. I am 17 years old now. Completed my 12th. Working at Yama Motors R&D. I am working in the RDR Cancer Institute in Chennai. I feel much happy to attend this exam. Learning experience is excellent. Whatever the questions posted in the forum, it's immediately being answered. That is an amazing work what they are doing at really. With respect to NPTEL, the quality of lectures and delivery, the contents to the students, no doubt, unquestionable. And it's too good. The examination today, I really enjoy. I've been traveling more than two hours uh, daily. I just hearing that entire video conversation throughout my journey, like not sitting in home. working in a different domain totally uh, like mainframes so the course which I took was introduction to modern application development so this uh, course was very helpful because I've learned new technologies the course content was very extraordinary to be precise even if you compare to other websites uh, they don't offer certification like uh, MIT or uh, any Carnegie Mellon open course or but this is a very good initiative by the IITs and IACs, which can improve the standard of education. I was expecting to get gold medal by IIT, but I don't know if it will be there or not. It's a nice opportunity for people outside of IITs to be able to take an exam that is conducted by IIT, so the standards are pretty good, obviously. I have learned more in these three months than taking some papers in the college. Even at the age of 50 plus, we are getting some enthusiasm to go through all these lectures and all those things. Another person from my college has taken it in another center and both of us feel that the teaching was absolutely brilliant throughout the course and it's not only theory, even practice is there. He went, they actually showed us through a flight lab and they actually had very, very practical examples. For youngster, definitely it is useful. But this type of courses, if you find in other places, it is very, very costly. But here it is, a, for learning purpose, it is cheap. For obtaining a certificate, it is only a nominal fees. I appreciate uh, the initiative of MHRD and uh, the uh, strenuous efforts taken by uh, the IIT groups for uh, providing uh, uh, the latest and uh, technically sound education on online mode. This is the first time I felt that uh, some course for uh, working professionals and uh, it is well organized as such. Nowadays uh, doctors are expected to do a lot of research also apart from seeing patients. So this course helped me to learn a lot. It was a nice experience. It's wonderful in sitting along with the students and solving the problems. Makes us to be more concentrated with the course, to have a better deliverability of the content, to the recent trends are in par with the reputed institutions. This course is really like, uh, you know, bringing a bridge across what we are doing now and what we are going to do in the future. This program will be the harbinger of a big intervention in India in the area of online education so that we can address the grand challenge of providing high quality and useful education to a very, very large number, probably the largest number of youngsters in the world.
kita bicara later. As studio team, are we in live? Yeah, it's going to start now. Okay, sir. Yes, uh, we are live now. Please start. Hello. Ma'am, please start, ma'am. Uh, we are live. Okay, sir. Ma'am, we'll start, ma'am. Yeah. Okay. Hello and good morning to everyone. Am I audible, ma'am? Hello, am I audible? Yes, ma'am, audible. We are audible. Okay. Uh, a very uh, warm good morning to everyone. Dignitary is present here on the online platform. On behalf of Department of Information Technology, Electronics and Telecommunication, IQSC Cell, and NPTEL Local Chapter. KDK College of Engineering, I, Dr. Sunanda Prabhakar Kandait, SPOC, NPTEL Local Chapter, KDK College of uh, Engineering, welcomes you all for the NPTEL Awareness e-workshop. All of you are aware with the NPTEL. NPTEL stands for National Program on Technology and uh, Enhanced Learning, uh, it is a jointly funded uh, program by Ministry of Human Resource and Development, Government of India. It was initiated uh, and developed by seven IITs, namely IIT Bombay, IIT Delhi, Kanpur, Kharagpur, Madras, Guwahati, and Rurki, along with Indian Institute of Science, Bangalore, in 2003. NPTEL is a good opportunity for whom uh, who is willing to uh, do courses based on their qualification. It is an uh, educational in initiative. Uh, it provides certification. Uh, also, the uh, everyone is eligible to do courses which are offered by these IITs. NPTEL provides certification as well with uh, nominal fees. NPTEL shares the toppers list uh, to those industries for recruitment purpose. And also students can review and assess their own progress through assignments. And uh, it uh, inculcate, uh, inculcate the mode of self-learning as well. So this is all about uh, NPTEL. Now, I call upon and welcome Dr. A.M. Badar to share his views about KDK College of Engineering. Over to you, sir. Uh, sir, please unmute your earphone. Yes, sir. Thank you. 
Hello, sir. Can you please uh, check your audio? We cannot hear you. हेलो सर आपकी आवाज नहीं आ रही है हेलो आवाज नहीं आ रही सर ऑडियो का कुछ अभी आ रही मैडम हाँ यस सर यस सर नाउ इट इज शुरू से करिए आप हाँ माई सेल्फ अविनाश बदर वाइस प्रिंसिपल ऑफ केडीके कॉलेज ऑफ इंजीनियरिंग नागपुर today i welcome all the guest all the participant for nptel awareness online workshop with pacific institute of technology udaipur rajasthan i appeal to all the participants that today's program is important and each and everybody should attend and complete the nptel programs nptel courses KDK College of Engineering is 35 years old institute established in 1984 where having six undergraduate programs civil engineering mechanical engineering electrical engineering computer science and engineering information technology artificial intelligence and data science with an intake of 570 ug intake is 570 where having three postgraduate programs one is first is mechanical engineering and design structural engineering with an intake of 18 each we are running master of business administration that is mba with 60 intake our college is nac accredited our five branches are accredited by national board of accreditation new delhi the main feature of the college we are having 150 kilowatt solar plant we are also having a gas plant we are using kitchen waste from the hostel and we are using that gas for the kitchen these are the some silent features of the college over to madam thank you thank you very much खंडित मैडम हेलो एम आई ऑडिबल यस यस मैडम थैंक यू सर थैंक यू वेरी मच फॉर इंट्रोड्यूसिंग आवर कॉलेज टू दिस ऑनलाइन प्लेटफॉर्म नाउ आई कॉल अपॉन डॉक्टर पी डी खंडाई टू इंट्रोड्यूस आवर गेस्ट स्पीकर टूडेज गेस्ट स्पीकर डॉक्टर शिव कुमार शिव शंकर दास आई आई टी खरगपुर ओवर टू यू सर थैंक यू मैडम गुड मॉर्निंग टू ऑल आई एम डॉक्टर पी डी खंडाई फ्रॉम केडीके कॉलेज ऑफ इंजीनियरिंग आई हैव प्रिविलेज टू इंट्रोड्यूस मिस्टर शिव शंकर दास 
Mr. Shiv Shankar Das works as a network engineer at IIT Kharagpur. He did his master's degree from the same institute with specialization in microelectronics and VLSI design. Before joining IIT Kharagpur, Mr. Das has served in the Indian Air Force as an airman in the technical trade and Punjab State Industrial Development Corporation as an executive engineer. During his tenure in IIT Kharagpur, he has also worked in the biomedical instrumentation research group and has two Indian patents in the areas of low cost Doppler ultrasound system and non-invasive blood glucose monitoring system along with other members of the group. Since 2016, Mr. Das is associated with the NPTEL activities of IIT Kharagpur and he has been actively participating in raising the awareness of the program in the eastern part of the country. So I welcome you, Das sir. Thank you very much. Uh, good morning, distinguished uh, speakers here, uh, the faculty members from both the colleges, KDK College of Engineering, Nagpur, and Pacific Institute of Technology, Udaipur, Rajasthan. Uh, thank you for organizing the workshop and giving us a, an opportunity to talk to the students uh, and tell about the programs. Okay, uh, I understand both the colleges are currently local chapters, but since there are many new students who might be doing the programs uh, now, the, for the first time they will be exposed to such courses. So for the completeness of the course, I will also take uh, you a complete journey, a virtual tour of how NPTEL program runs, right from enrollment till completion of the course, the benefits that are associated with the programs, uh, the different initiatives that we have taken, all these things will be covered. So just let me start with sharing my slide here. Sir, can you kindly confirm that you are getting my uh, slide? You can view my slide? Yes. Okay. Uh, during the next, say, one and a half hour to two hours timeline, we will be discussing on uh, NPTEL online certification process. There's a primary goal. In addition to that, we'll, be exp uh, we are, we'll also talk about what are the type of courses uh, that we offer under this program. When do we offer? how to join into the courses and how NPTEL courses can be beneficial for different segment of students or learners as a whole. Then we have a new concept called domain certification. What is all about internship opportunities, how NPTEL courses can be useful for uh, the candidates who are aspiring to do well in the competitive exams like GATE, how colleges, autonomous colleges and the universities can consider taking the NPTEL courses for credits as per the guidelines approved by the UGC and AICTE. Then what all other initiatives we take to prepare uh, the students who are aspiring to join the job market in a better way, uh, how to improve on their soft skill and the career progression path of the faculty members, how they can take benefit from the NPTEL. So this will be the general talk uh, during the next uh, hour or two hours or so time. It should not be one way talk. I would definitely encourage people, those who are connected uh, through YouTube. If they have got any queries, they are most welcome to post their queries there so that during the course of my talk, I'll also take up the questions from there and answer to them as I move along. Okay. So in PTL, as has been uh, pointed out by um, Professor S.P. Khandai, that it is a, actually is an acronym. National Program on Technology Enhanced Learning. It was started way back in 2003 with the funding support from the Dardenne Ministry of Human Resource Development Government of India and the partnering institutions were seven older IITs and Indian Institute of Science, Bangalore. During 2003 to 2014, our journey has been uh, tremendous. We have changed the way uh, the industry operates, how these courses can be useful for the stakeholders whether the students, the faculty members, and uh, the industry professionals. 
how they can actually take benefit of these courses. Considering the requirement changing every day, we have also tailored our course structure in such a way that it benefits them. So from 2003 to primarily up to 2013, our focus was on to recording the lectures delivered by IIT faculty members to their students and make it available to the learner community, either in the form of hard disk, CD-ROM drive, or through YouTube or NPTEL channels, uh, nptel.ac.in portal. So through many ways, we were actually giving access to this content so that any interested learner should be able to enhance his or her knowledge or refresh the knowledge. That was the sole aim. From 2014, we are offering the online certification courses. That is the same in PTL course remains, but only thing we have added few other quadrants so that after completion of the course, the candidates are in a position to write a certification exam and get a certificate to say to the outside world, see, I have done this course from such and such institution. And this is the certificate of completion, which reflects my level of knowledge in the particular course. Okay, so from 2014 to 2021, we, have, we are in the business of offering online certification program through the support of Government of India, Ministry of Education. Our website is nptl.ac.in. I'll just take you directly to the nptl.ac.in portal. And maybe it, it's good to start from there. See, this is our portal, nptl.ac.in. If you come here, you'll find a lot of information uh, shown on this platform. It's a local chapter, online courses, faculty initiative, translation, corporate social responsibility, workshop, gate preparation, industry associate internship. What all things we talk about in NPTEL workshops or what all information that the students might be interested to know, everything is embedded here. Yesterday, a new initiative was taken to maybe restructure the whole thing in a better way so that it becomes easy for the learners who are coming to the NPTEL platform to access the contents to a single, uh, from a single point. See, we have started the program called NPTEL new website beta version. If you go here, what all things you know, you are now looking for, if you just think that, okay, how we have progressed during this, uh, say 18, 19 years, we have actually created more than 2,300 unique courses. These courses are unique means they're one course, say on a programming course has been developed once and maybe it was offered a number of times. So we are not considering the number of times it has been offered. It's considered that course is unique. So that's how we have created more than 2,300 unique courses. We have got these courses are available through YouTube. There is a channel called NPTEL HRD. So through that, these courses are made available in addition to our own NPTEL.sc.in portal. Okay. So this YouTube, once we are transferring or sharing this information through YouTube, we have got a very large subscription base, although it's an academic content channel, not an entertainment program, but still you find more than 37 lakhs people have subscribed to our channel and 1.3 billion plus views have been reported. How has been our journey? Uh, since say we started offering the online certification courses, you can see we have got more than 1.6 Four people enrolling into the courses, 15 lakh plus candidates registering for the examination, more than 4,500 colleges with whom we are connected in NPTEL as its local chapter, 3,500 as we said that this is the 2,300 is a unique course, but we have completed, maybe many of the courses have been offered many of the times. So considering all those rerun cases, we have completed more than 3,500 MOOCs, massive open online courses. We we'll talk about this. We have we are working with industry partners. More than sixty industries we are connected with to understand their needs and maybe offer the courses that benefits them. Okay, so that the students can meet the aspiration of those industries. What little things you know? List of courses. Now, if you want that, okay, I want to join a course. First, we should know which are the courses being offered currently. Okay. First, if you consider that's the first step, let me go back to January to April 2022 semester. 
Then what is the semester system? We offer the courses aligning with the semester system of regular university structure. That is universities they follow, if we are considering that they have two semester system, then January to June, they'll be having one semester and July to December is the second semester. So we are also offering the courses aligning with their timelines. So our semester starts in January or July and the course completion takes place sometime in April or in October. When at the end of the courses, we also conduct the examination. So the semesters are clear now. Now, if I want to see, okay, what are the courses currently on offer and what are the timelines, when to start, when to when the course enrollment closes, all those details, just let us go to click onto the list of courses. Here you'll find, you'll, it will take you to uh, an Excel sheet where you will have the timeline. The first set of courses, as we said that, okay, the courses are starting from January 24th, that is January session courses will start on 24th of January, which has already passed. So 24th of January, the courses have started and the courses will end in uh, say April. Okay, That's, the timelines are that, okay, in NPTEL, we are offering three variation of courses. Some courses are of four weeks or 10 hours duration. Some courses are of 20 hours or eight weeks duration. And a third set of courses is a full semester courses of 12 weeks duration or in terms of timeline, it's 12 weeks or 30 hours. That is the lecture duration. Okay, so if you just look at the this Excel sheet, you'll find which all courses we are offering during the January to April session. Here you have got discipline-wise courses are structured, which is the name of the course, who is the faculty, affiliation of the faculty, duration of the course, institute that the course is being offered. Uh, you can see the start date, end date, enrollment uh, when it stops, whether it's an undergraduate program or postgraduate program, it's a core course, elective course, every data is given. And also whether this course is linked to any of the domains that we talk about in the later part of the lecture. So here you'll find all courses. Now, first you go through the lecture, uh, this course, so you can say, names of the courses which are currently being offered. You also look for the course, which is starting on 24th of January. We have got three set of courses. First set of course is all 30 uh, hour courses and four weeks on eight weeks, that is 10 hours and 20 hour courses are split into two groups. All 10 hours, 20 hour courses have been split into two groups. First set of four week courses and first set of eight week courses will be offered along with all 30 hour courses from 24th of January. The first set of four week course will have an closing date that is in February within a month's time it will be completed. Now, if you just compare with your, how do you say that it will be completed within a one hour, one month timeline? In your regular uh, say classroom structure, if you see you have got uh, every week, the faculty, the teacher, comes and talks about that particular course, maybe for two hours, three hours, or four hours. Okay, so here also we ensure that faculty is teaching you for a fixed duration of time within a particular syllabus. Okay, so considering, we consider that, okay, we'll be offering about 2.5 to three hours of lecture per week. Taking 2.5 hours as a standard, we try to complete a 10 hour course in a four weeks timeline. It takes about eight weeks time to complete a 20 hour course. And for completing a 30 hours full semester course, we take 12 weeks. So that is how you can see the duration has been specified. So the four week course will be completed, which is starting in January, will be completed in February. Eight week course will be completed in um, March. And the exam for these two, four weeks and eight weeks courses will be conducted in March itself. The remaining two sets of courses, that is four weeks and eight weeks, second set, will be having a combined examination in April. When do this second set of four weeks and eight week course will start? It will start one month later. That is the first set of courses are starting from 24th January. 
the second set of courses will start exactly a month later okay but it has already started the first set of all 30 hours 10 hours 20 hours courses have started enrollment process is still open but it will close on 31st of january during january to april semester of 2022 iit nptls is offering 592 courses out of that 502 courses are currently being offered and have started so this 500 enrollment for these 502 courses will close within just next few days by 31st january 5 pm the enrollment process will close so if you are still thinking about joining whether to join the course or not you really do not have too much of time left with you explore the list of courses that are currently offered join into the course okay so here what you do in a MOOCs format massive open online courses format the number of students who can enroll into the course you really, really do not have any uh, restriction on okay how many people can join into the course as in a regular classroom the class size is limited by the number of sitting capacity in that room that may be 100 200 or maybe up to 300 but in a massive open online structure the class size is unlimited okay it can be 100 200 thousand or even a lakh candidate can enroll in a course it is offered in an online open online mode that is anyone having interest to learn they will be able to join to the course the contents are delivered in an online mode and the courses are structured in the exactly same fashion as it is done in a regular college or university system okay it has got a fixed syllabus it has a start time end time all weekly activities that is certain amount of lectures delivered every week certain amount of acti other activities like teacher may give you supplementary reading materials periodical class test at the end you have got an examination interaction in the class all those features are also available here in the MOOCs format so we follow the same four quadrant approach that is followed in the university system uh, roshan kumar is asking i have uh, i have a diploma in civil engineering can i do course on NPTEL and solve mechanics from IIT KGP. Uh, let me tell you, uh, Roshan, that uh, this is the wonderful platform that allows you to take the courses from anywhere. That is, you can take any course that interests you, whether it is civil engineering or computer science or mechanical engineering. If any course is of, of your interest, you can join to these courses irrespective of whether you are associated in the college, whether you are pursuing a particular branch of engineering, or maybe a science graduate doing physics, chemistry, mathematics courses, you can take the courses from any branch. Okay, there is no doubt about that. So we follow lecture videos, interaction that takes place in the class that is also available here. Then teacher gives you the supplementary study material, that is the third component. Periodically, the teacher may assess you on your uh, understanding of the subject in a regular classroom. Here, this takes place on a weekly basis. Every week, you will be assessed on your understanding. So, all these four quadrants that you experience in your uh, offline class mode is also available here. In addition to that, the teacher periodically interacts with that to students enroll into the course through something what the way we are actually conducting the workshop that is most of the students are now connected to uh, youtube and if they have any doubt they will post their queries i can pick up the question from there and answer that is how it takes place so there is a fifth component also added where teacher will be able to interact with the students through youtube live sessions as i said there are three variations of courses or three formats of the courses, 10 hours, 20 hours, 30 hours. Every week we give 2.5 hours of lecture. At this rate, we complete 10 hour course in four weeks, 20 hour course in eight weeks. And to, within 12 weeks time, we complete 30 hours. 2.5 hours of lectures are delivered every week. 
there is a forum for interaction the way you interact with the teacher with your teacher in a classroom the same thing takes place but since the teacher is not available physically this is an on, open online course so naturally the interaction takes place in an online mode only so there is something called a blog where you can post your queries it will be seen and answered by the faculty so that's how the interaction will take place then you are provided with supplementary study materials optional video based interaction through uh, youtube and every week there is an assignment to test your understanding at the end there is an option that if you are looking for say certificate from nptel you can definitely uh, write the certification register for the exam and write it uh mr rana is asking may i uh, do bioinformatics from this platform i am currently studying in 12th standard uh yes rana uh, you are most welcome to do that there are many uh, students who are in the school children who are actually uh, in the k12 education that is between 10 to 15 years age group a large number of them i'll show you the statistics in the later part of my talk they are doing many of the many of these school school children are doing these courses from nptel so if any of the course whether it is physics chemistry mathematics aligning with your maybe a little bit of higher studies for uh, your future or if you are looking for a particular area where you want to develop your interest in that area and there are many courses offered from multiple regions so you can take the course that interests you from nptel there is no bar in there it is not barring you even if you are in a class 10 standard you can join into the nptel courses uh sandeep you are asking that uh, i am doing graduation can i take course on nptel or not as i said rightly that irrespective of your age gender academic background you can take all of you can join into nptel courses the course that interest you okay so you can take any course irrespective of whether you are in a school you are in school you are in college you are retired professional you are home worker anyone or working in the industry anyone can join into these courses okay there is no bar into this then lecture videos uh lecture videos we say that 2.5 hours of lectures are provided how do we calculate 2.5 hours we usually give you five lectures of half an hour each the lecture size is not one hour because it helps you to keep motivating for this 30 minutes okay the attention span can remain focused for a shorter duration of time and also it helps you to download the videos easily these videos are released every monday during the entire run time of the course you have seen the courses are starting from 24th of january or it has started so every monday from 24th we will be releasing the videos of 2.5 hours video of that week every monday morning okay but you have also seen in the excel sheet that there are few rerun courses few new courses the rerun course means these courses was were created sometime earlier so these videos are already available in the portal so if you are joining for any of these rerun courses then you don't have to wait till monday you can go to the nptel portal or you can also explore youtube channel and get the course material before the course is live okay supplementary study materials these are english text transcript the rerun courses which are currently being offered we try to provide transcription of these courses that is the video lectures the way the faculty might have said in the class the same thing is put into the text format and made available to the student so if you do not follow the lectures at least you can follow the text version and pick up from there otherwise if the faculty has used powerpoint presentation slides definitely that will be shared to you so that that helps you in the rapid revision hand written notes are also sometimes provided for some courses you get english subtitles also these are just to help you to follow the lectures as closely as possible okay uh gorab kumar you are asking about the mentorship i'll just talk at the appropriate time um uh, mr trivedi you are asking explain the structure I, i do not know what you mean by the structure i said our structure is that we offer three variation of courses three formats 
some courses are fully structured in the syllabus that is a full semester course of 30 hours duration there is a medium type of course of 20 hours duration and a course which is on focusing on a particular topic that may be of 10 hours duration that is a structure and with 2.5 hours of lecture per week the duration is 30 hours will be completed within 12 weeks timeline 20 hour course will be completed in 8 weeks timeline and it will take four weeks time to complete a 10 hour course i hope i understand uh, this fees and all i please have a patience uh, um, we will be covering each and every topic so maybe as we go along the topic that we discuss if you have got any query post it there so that it becomes relevant otherwise we'll be skipping many of the things um, sir all videos uploaded in youtube or we have to purchase no everything is uploaded in youtube they're freely available um, you are a mechanical engineer which i prefer data science or ai kindly suggest or which should be best for me i think i will not be the right person to answer to that it depends on your interest which domain you are interested to pursue in your future path set your career goal and select the courses appropriately maybe once you talk about the domain certificate that will give you some guidelines on this okay please wait for that domain certificate will explain in detail please have a patience we'll talk on this you will not be able to skip the things what is not being discussed right now discussion forum as you discuss uh, with the teacher uh, in a regular classroom if you've got any doubt you stop that teacher ask you question ask the question or teacher may sometimes interrupt you, uh, you you are listening to the talk teacher may ask you something okay so that interaction takes place in an online course through forum so there is a platform where you can if you have enrolled into the course you or anyone who is enrolling into the course they'll be able to interact with the uh, teacher through chat box they post their queries and this will be answered by the teacher and the teaching assistants associated with the course now you have got a video made available to you in a recorded format you go through the uh, recorded videos then you have got supplementary study materials you go through that if you have got any doubt you put forward your questions to the teacher, get it answered. Then what is there? Assess yourself. There is a self-assessment quiz provided every week. Certain amount of questions are provided to you. Related to that week's video, 2.5 hours video that has the teacher has provided, from that maybe 10, 15, 20 questions will be asked. Solve those problems. So by solving this one, you are ensuring that your understanding level is pretty good. Okay, so some amount of self-assessment is done on a regular basis and these are graded. That means after you solve the problems, this will be evaluated by the teacher and given some score. So you know what is your understanding of that particular week's topic. Number of assignments, one at least per week. 10 to 15 questions are provided every along with every assignment. They are released on Monday morning along with the videos Assignment can be submitted within a timeline of 10 days. That is Monday morning you have been provided. First, you will go through the videos, defer to the supplementary study material, interact with the teacher if there is any doubt. Then only you go for submission of the assignment, solving the assignment problem. So they, you are given 10 days time, Monday till next week's Wednesday, 23, 59 hours. Full 10 days time is available with you. Within this timeline, you can submit the assignment for evaluation. How much, what is the uh, say score, full score of that each assignment? It is graded out of 100 marks. That is, each assignment will be graded out of 100 marks. After the assignment submission closes, you will have an option to see whether you have marked the answers correctly or not. If you have not got good marks, you can also check whether where you have gone wrong. And also, we try to release a solution of the assignment questions. Official version of the solution is also uploaded. A domain certificate, as I said, uh, we'll discuss a little later. What subjects and how much week hours course should be completed? I think I have already talked about this. Please listen to that, then you can post your queries. Where can you get the notes of the lectures? Notes of the lectures will be provided within the course only. I'll show you the area where you can get. Uh, 
sir currently i am in the final year in mechanical engineering what will be the best course in the field of automobile i think it will not be appropriate for me to okay this is the best course this is not a good course i am not the expert from the automobile engineering or not competent to comment on that please talk to your faculty members or maybe explore what is the requirement of in the automobile sector and if there is any course aligning from that domain take that course now as far as assignment is concerned uh, assignment questions are either computer graded or manual graded these are the two options if it is computer graded the questions are have to be multiple choice format that is either it is a single correct option or maybe out of the given option there are more than one correct options okay then if it is a single correct option it's a binary that is either you select the correct option you get marks otherwise you get zero marks but if you feel that there are a question contains more than one correct options as long as you select the correct options you get proportionate marks okay if the marks allocated for the question is 10 and there are three correct option you select the first correct option only you get one third of the full mark second correct option also you choose you get two third of the full marks but if you select any incorrect option along with correct options then you get zero marks you do not get marks for even selecting one or two correct options okay short answer means that is you are given a numerical problem you solve the problem put the numerical value or alpha numerical value you get marks okay so the questions could be multiple choice options are given radio button is given you select the appropriate radio button or it will be some problem is given you solve it and put the numeric or alpha numeric value in the text box okay there could be some assignments which are of subjective in nature that is questions will be asked you have to solve it in a piece of paper in a not conventional pen paper mode scan the document and upload it for evaluation that is how it will work what the type of courses we offer it could be core courses aligning with your engineering curriculum or ugc curriculum there could be elective courses courses from the emerging areas the what industry is undergoing frequent changes because of industry 4.0 and all so all those things are coming into picture then there are some courses on soft skill how to develop your entrepreneurship skills intellectual property teaching and assessment this is primarily focusing on the faculties so we cover courses from all areas that may be of interest to you whether it is for core course elective emerging area soft skill all courses are offered this timeline i have already shown to you okay the examination as we said that okay you can join into the course irrespective of your background whichever domain that interest you you can take definitely you can learn the course from your home that is also fine but for writing the examination you have to register for the examination separately by paying the fee and there is a window within which you have to complete the registration exams will be conducted either on 27 march or 23rd or 24th april the courses for which this exam will be conducted is clearly spelled out in the course page when the examination for this particular course will be conducted so examination will be conducted in online or offline mode in the exam center okay i'll talk little more about it in the coming slides examination registration for all 592 courses are now open anyone having interest to uh, actually write the certification exam can actually register by paying the fee exam registration closes by 14th of february or 14th of march with normal fee however four days grace period is given if you are willing to register by paying the late fee so within 18th of february you can pay additional fees and register or 18th march is the timeline for april courses okay for enrollment process how do you follow the enrollment you have identify the course now you have to enroll into the courses uh, let me go back to the nptel portal here nptel beta website here enrollment details i click here it takes me to the portal which is the portal swayam.gov.in 
under which if you write soam.gov.in slash nptel, it will list you all the courses, all 592 courses which are currently available for enrollment in NPTEL. You have already seen the Excel sheet. From there, you have identified the course. Say, I am interested for a course on, say, uh, Internet of Things. Say, I am looking for an Internet of Things course. I look for the course here, I search for the course here, or else I get the course cleared here. Otherwise, what I can do, I can also put course duration, whether I am looking for 10 hour course, 20 hour course, or 30 hour course, I can select from here, okay, I'm looking for 12 week course, exam date. I can select or filter it through uh, exam date also, or I can also select whether it is from engineering and technology. And if it is from engineering technology, maybe say I'll say I'll, I'm looking for courses of which are of 12 weeks duration coming from NPTEL and offering the discipline of uh, computer science and engineering. So these are the courses which are currently offered. Now say I am looking for this course. I'm interested for an introduction to artificial intelligence course being offered by IIT Madras Professor Mausham. It's a 12 weeks course, exam date, starting date is 24th January, exam date is 24th of April, it's clearly mentioned. Okay, enrollment ends on 31st of January as we have mentioned earlier. If I'm looking for this course, I'll click on it. It will take me to the next course page. Before I go ahead, let me take, uh, if there is any question, uh, sir, kindly summarize procedure, how we can enroll into the course and watch videos and how we get certificate once. Sachin, uh, this is a question from Sachin. Sachin, I'll be discussing particularly on this point. Just carefully observe this. First, I have gone through the course list, identified the course, then clicked onto the course page and come to the course now. Now from onwards, this is the how you complete the enrollment process and what all things are there in a weekly structure, how you complete the course, we'll be discussing on this. Is there any, uh, Suraj, you are asking, is there any particular course for GATE? I'll talk about this little later, please wait. Himansh, you are asking, please told, uh, tell us which course should first year students of computer science and engineering have to prefer, which will be good for a CSA student. Please wait, you may at least look for the so domain certification courses that we will be discussing a little later. Uh, is this course on NPTEL live classes or only provide the recorded lectures? None of the online certification programs will give you live lectures. It will be recorded. The classroom lectures have been recorded and made available to you. So you get the access to the recorded lectures and see it as many times as you feel. Okay, so these are definitely recorded lectures. Roshan, you are asking, you are third year student, you are, uh, will, will be taking one of those courses. Will it affect your academic performance? Why? Uh, I'll show you the statistics. There are many students who are, in addition to doing the courses from the regular university structures, they are taking six courses every semester from NPTEL. So you can just imagine if the students from say class 12 education or uh, senior professionals like 80 to 90 age group, if they could find time to do the things along with the other activities, you as a young third year student should not find any difficulty in doing. If you want to explore your potential, definitely uh, you can do that. Okay. Uh, you are from distance place and wanted to give online exam. So from our home, as well as many, we are allowed to give online exam. Online exam means you have to come to the exam center. Okay. These are all proctored exam. You can study from your home, but you cannot write the exam from your home currently. So exams are conducted in more than 200 cities across the country. So many exam centers will be very close to your home. So once you register for the examination, you will come to know which is the exam center near to your home. You select those choices. You, give, you can give three choices and based on the availability, we will provide you any of your choice. Is eight weeks duration not available for BC subject? I do not know what you are referring by BC subjects, uh, not shown uh, their portal chart. I really do not know what you mean by BC subject. If you elaborate, maybe we'll take it up. But see uh, what I think Ronok was asking that, okay, it, tell me how to enroll into the course to completion. Now for enrollment, first you have identified the course, you know what all things you have to do every week. 
once you have come to this course, say an introduction to artificial intelligence, it shows that currently the course has an enrollment number of 33,503 students. So you are going to be maybe 33,500 fourth student here. What you get here, you get a small video which says that what the teacher is going to teach in this particular course. It is also written here to some extent. Who are the intended audience? Undergraduate students of computer science. Is there any prerequisite to understand this particular course? Not for joining the course, but for understanding the lectures. Yes, you should have some idea about the data structure and probability. Industry support, that is which of the industries will appreciate this particular knowledge that is written here. Here it is faculty has said that most software companies will be appreciating this knowledge. Then the course structure, this is a 12 weeks course. You will see that, okay, within these 12 weeks, what the teacher is going to teach to you. Every week it is written. The books and reference materials that you will be following, teacher's biography, course certification process, every data is given, okay. Here also it is written, whether it's elective course or core course, category, credit points, if this course is taken for credits, what NPTEL recommends, the NPTEL recommended credit limits, and whether this course is applicable uh, or considered as faculty development course, program course for the faculty's career advancement scheme. Okay. After going through all these details, if you feel, okay, this is the course I am looking for, join click onto the join. What it will take? It will take me to the course enrollment page. What are the options that I have to join into the course? I will have option to join through the Google, my Gmail account, Microsoft account, Facebook. My suggestion is that as long as you are in the learning process in Soyam, if you have a Gmail account, a Google enabled account, use that account. So click onto the Google, use your Gmail credential, then it will take you to the next page. That is a course enrollment page, where if you have already joined into the course, you'll be seeing that, okay, your profile is shown. Otherwise, you'll have to select the data here. Since I have joined in many of the courses as part of the demonstration, it is showing that, okay, my profile is already there. I can just edit my profile and join. So here I can see, my name is there, mobile number, email ID, age group I belong to, I can select from 13 to 12, 20. Some student was asking whether they can join. Yes, you can join. Even if you are from 13, 14, 15 years age group, studying in 10th or 12th standard, you can very well join into these courses. You can select the age group that you belong to. Currently, you are residing in which country? Profession. Here you have got four options. Student, faculty, employed, and other. If you are student, or faculty, definitely you are attached to an academic institution. Okay. So if you are student or faculty, then there is, an question, there is a question like part of SOAM local chapter. If your college is a local chapter, you know that, okay, your college is associated with NPTEL as a local chapter. Selected years, yes, here. Select the state as, say, Maharashtra. Then you will get all colleges from Maharashtra who are local chapters. So you will possibly get your the name of your college also here. So if it is KDK, I think it's written. I really don't know how it has been mentioned there in your if it is a local chapter. So you have to select the college name from the drop down. Write your college roll number, degree you are currently pursuing. If it is undergraduate, first year, second year, third year, every data you can put. You are say you are looking for BTEC degree, then discipline, say instrumentation engineering or information technology. Then you are in the first year, select first year. I agree to SOAM terms and service. I agree to follow the honor code. Update my profile and join the course. Since I have already joined into many of the courses, so that is the reason it is asking update profile. Otherwise, it will simply say join the course. Once I click onto the join the course tag here, it will give me now the next screen will show me that okay, you have joined into the course. I have used my email ID. Oh, sorry. College school name, I have to select something, say I select here. 
update college and join course. Here it is giving him a, a, a message that okay, you have successfully enrolled into the course. Now comes what all things we said that this is a four quadrant approach. We'll see about that. Is it possible to have live class interaction through incoming uh, through incoming years? Live interaction is already there. As I said, that live interaction takes place once in a month through YouTube. The way you are posting the question, uh, this was a question from Kanwar Pratap Singh. The way we are interacting with you, we are seeing your question and responding here the same way this takes place. Consider a scenario, there is a 40,000 students enrolling into the course or 50,000 students. Can you interact in the same way that you interact in a face-to-face -face mode in a class? No. So there should be some other mechanism. So YouTube Live is another mechanism where you can definitely interact with the teacher in the same way that you interact in a classroom. Okay. What is the fee of this course is asked by Sandeep. Uh, there is no fee as such for enrolling into the course and completing the course only for certification. If you are looking for the certification exam, you pay a fee. Um, then someone has written that my college local chapter number is such and such. More than six students enroll in MPTL course. Our college has become exam center. Is our college exam center? No, it's not like that. Exam center has to be TCS up to center. Only thing we try to provide exam center in all major cities. We asked our exam partner to find out a location which can accommodate these many students based on our assessment. Okay. So that final call is taken by our exam partner, which is the institution or which is the infrastructure. Sometimes uh, the exam partner will have their own infrastructure to carry out the exam. If they do not have the facility in a particular city, then only they just look for any other college where they have a tie up and conduct the exam from there. Okay, so this is how things work. It's not that your uh, college has got 60, 100 or even 2000 students enrolling into the course so you, your college will be a local chapter it is not so so now we have enrolled into the course what you get we are in currently in week one week one it has got these many lecture videos just click onto the lecture name here you will find the lecture video opens click onto the lecture video you can see these lecture videos of 14 minutes you can see the video here if you are looking for uh, if you want to get this video or view it from other place, you can click onto the YouTube word here. The same video will open in the YouTube. Okay. So you can download it from NPTEL or you can download it from here also. So after going through the video, you can also see there is a quiz. After you go through the video, you can actually ask a question. If you have got a question to ask, you can put forward the question here. Click onto this. You can see many of the students have asked, what is artificial intelligence? What is rational agent and NP heart? So people will be asking the questions that they ask in a regular classroom here. You can also post your queries. And also, if someone has asked a question, what is the answer to that question by given by the faculty and the teaching assistant that you can also you can see. So you can substantial, you can spend some time on this for posting your queries or also getting to know what other students or your peer group students have asked and what is the answer. That will help you to understand the things better. You have completed the asking process, completed the doubt. If there was any uh, say supplementary study materials, that will be provided here at the bottom of this course. Then you click onto the assignment. Okay. Here it is given week one assignment. Here you can see the assignment one is a due date is given. How many days time is given to you? It is 10 days. That is Monday till next week's Wednesday, 11.39 hours, 11.59 hours. So that is how it is written 9th February 2022-2359 Indian standard time is given. There are 10 questions each of one point. Okay. So question is given, some option is given. You have to just check which is the correct option. It could be that one or more correct options are there. Now we say that, okay, within this 
timeline you have to submit the assignment and get it graded what is the total score timeline is given total score is 100 how that 100 point 100 is calculated you have got 10 questions of each of one point that means the total point is 10 so this 10 point corresponds to 100 marks so each question actually now is considered of 10 marks each if it is a multiple choice with correct option one correct option only you select the correct option like this and you get full marks on completion of the first semester, first week's uh, lecture i'll say this is 23 59 hours of 9 february once this deadline closes you will be able to see which was the correct option and whether you have clicked onto the correct option and got the full mark or not that is also will be shown during this time you can submit the assignment multiple times that is after first submission if you have detected okay you have done a mistake you can go back to the portal and resubmit it submit the answer then on say once the deadline expires for the submission you will be able to see your progress under the progress tab you will be able to see what is your score out of 100 what score you have got in this particular assignment okay so you have seen video you have got a platform to interact with the teacher you have got a platform to assess yourself and get it evaluated all these things are done now there is a tab called mentor what is this mentor there is a provision that if your college is interested to help you then they can assign some faculty members who will be guiding you or mentoring you during the entire run time of the course that is the faculty will also join into the course in that case the spoc single point of contact of your npt local chapter will assign the role of mentorship to this faculty first the faculty will enroll into the course the spoc of the local chapter college will assign the role of mentorship to this faculty and once that is assigned through his dashboard his name will be reflected here and you can select that faculty by selecting the faculty will be able to see your say performance in the course directly there and also if you are having some issues he can be acting as a first level of escalation point he will be able to interact with you help you in understanding so in addition to what you get in a forum that posting your queries maybe the mentor will be able to help you locally okay so this is the mentoring concept mentor need not write the exam it is not mandatory for the mentor to write the exam but it is mandatory that they have to enroll into the course identifying themselves that they are the faculty of this particular course yash khan you are asking uh, i am 8 eight branch but it is not visible on white screen see do not write the nomenclatures because this is not very common aids uh, branch i really do not know what is this uh, branch actually if you can mention clearly and uh, it's that okay we have uh, let me tell you there are many branches see uh, i am from iit but even i am not aware of what you are saying about the aids branch okay so there could be many other branches and it's not possible to put the names of all the branches there so if suppose if i consider that okay ai stands for artificial intelligence that means it is sub branch of your computer science so we have just put a few common branches generic branches just identify with this the branch that you are studying whether it resembles to very closely touches with that particular branch or not select that branch this is not going to be shown to anyone is not will be it not be reflected in your certificate this is for our internal consumption so you select the branch that closely resembles to your area of studies okay himanshu are asking uh, is nagpur will be the exam center and will be the exam what will be the exam fee exam fee and exam center nagpur is definitely an exam center exam fee we'll talk about it little later uh benefits of nptel certification course that also i'll talk little later with slides um benefits your tanma is also asking the same question uh 
Apollo Ghosh, you are asking, suppose I have missed the week assignment, am I eligible for final exam? I'll ex explain this in detail a uh, little later. Please uh, stay tuned. Okay, so these are the four quadrants. I think now it's clear to you that, okay, how you join into the course and how you complete weekly structures. Go through the video, go through the supplementary study materials if it is available, ask the question, to the teacher or post the queries to the teacher through ask it question button. Then sort the assignment and grade it evaluate. See the final uh, say official version of the solution in the portal after the assignment submission deadline closes. That's how you complete it. What is remaining is the final certification exam. We'll talk about this now. You can also actually you can also use if you have got Android mobile, uh, you can go to the Google Play Store and download the Swayam app and do what all activities are required to be done in a course. All activities can be done through Swayam app also. So we have talked about all these things now. Only thing for a programming course, in addition to the regular assignments, you may have programming assignments. That is, it will be you will be tested on your programming skill on a weekly basis. Some programming assignments will be here, there in the portal. We have to solve that. Okay. Now the question what uh, someone Apollo Ghos was asking. Now what we are saying that your assignment is there every week. Each will be graded out of 100 marks. That means if it is a eight weeks course, how many assignments you have? Eight. Each of 100 marks. There are 100 marks to each assignment. If it is for a 12 weeks course, you have got 1200 marks allocated for assignment. In a regular university system, you have got some internal assessment marks, internal marks. Here in NPTEL, 25% of your average performance score in the assignment is taken as the internal assessment. So 25% weightage is carried by the assignment in the final certification grading. Okay. So how do you calculate that one? Each assignment is 100. You have got 12 assignments for a 12 weeks course, 1200 marks. Now we understand what uh, someone was asking that if I miss some assignments, we understand that sometimes this course structure or course timelines will be clashing with your regular structure. University, some classrooms or some taste and all will be coming in between and you may be missing one or two assignments. That's fine. So for the 12 weeks course, we only consider the best eight assignment scores, not all 12. For a six, eight weeks course, we only consider the best six assignment scores, and we consider the best three scores out of four in a 10 hour lecture series. Okay. Now, if you have done all 12 assignments or nine or 10, eight assignments, we put it in the Excel sheet and see if you have done more than eight, which are the best eight scores? Add them together. Out of 800, what is your score? Take an average out of 100, what is your score? And directly take 25% from there for the final certification grading. Here, the average score out of 100 should not fall below 40. Now comes the glitch. Suppose you have submitted only, say, five assignments in a 12 week course. That means that you have been evaluated out of 500, but we are only taking eight assignments. So you have not submitted the minimum three required, three more assignments. How do you calculate the average then? The, we only consider that, okay, if you have not submitted all eight assignments, then the assignments that you have missed from this minimum number is actually you have got zero there. So if you have submitted five assignments, score out of 500 will be taken as score out of 800. We'll take an average out of that. Score out of 500 will be taken as score out of 800. Take, calculate what is your score, average score out of 100. If it falls below 40, then even if you get 100 out of 100 in the final certification exam, he will not be given any certificate. Please keep in mind, for certification, it is essential that you get 40% average score in the assignment also, which carries 25% weightage. That means out of 25, you should get at least 10. 
final exam will be conducted out of 100 but that will be scaled down your score out of 100 will be scored scaled down to score out of 75 if you have scored 80 there it will be considered you have scored 60 out of 75 and it will be reflected in the certificate however for a programming course you have got programming assignment on a daily basis so you will have a programming test also in addition to regular assignments so regular assignments will carry your 25 percent weightage before the final exam which will be conducted in the exam center you will be exposed to another set of programming test before your final exam on that particular day which will be notified beforehand will be given two exam slots, one in the morning daytime, another during the night time. A special set of programming assignments will be given to you. You solve it within a fixed time. After that, it will close. Maybe one hour or two hours will be the given time. After that, it will close. Based up on the performance of that, 25% weightage will be coming to the final certificate. So for a programming examination, 25% weightage comes from the weekly assignments, 25% weightage comes from the non proctored programming test, which is conducted before the exam, which you can take it from your college or you can take it from the home. You can write the exam in both the slots. In that case, whichever score is higher, will be taking 25% from there. And in that case, only 50% weightage remains with the final examination. I hope this point is clear. Uh, someone is asking what if one can attain 1200 out of 1200 then? That means you'll be in your certificate, it will be shown you have scored 25 out of 25 in the assignment. Okay. 1200 out of 1200 is fine. We'll be taking only the eighth assignment. That is you have scored 800 out of 800, 100 out of 100. 25% of that is 25 only. So these 25 will be reflected in the certificate. Sample certificate, I'll show you. I enrolled in uh, Sadhana, Sadhana Rana is asking, I enrolled in marketing course, which started before two days, two days ago, but I am not getting any update about online lectures. So how can I get that? Uh, I'll be thankful to you, kind of answer. I do not know whether this is, you are referring for the NPTEL course or not, if the NPTEL course was starting from 24th of January, please note that, note when was the starting date. If the starting date was 24th of January, then in that case, the video lectures are already available in the course page. Under week one, you have got the video lectures. If it was for, 20, for the February month, in that case, it is possible that the video lectures have not been released. So please check which is the starting date. If it is January, and if you're not getting the videos there, do revert. Otherwise, please wait for the appropriate time when we release the videos. Okay. Uh, this is for Sadhana. Durga Gupta, uh, how we submit the assignments online? I have already shown hands-on demonstration I have given. Go to the assignment page, solve the problems, and at the bottom, you have got a submit button. Click it there. Okay. That's all. Sachin, you are asking if we enroll more than one course, how can we attend exam? Will they uh, occur same day? I think you are not understanding the courses. We categorically say that every course page has got a mention of certification exam. And on an exam day, you will can have exam in the forenoon or in the afternoon. So if you have taken two courses whose exam is falling on the same day, for one course, you can write the exam in the morning session between 9 to 12. For another course, you can write the exam in the afternoon session between 2 to 5. Okay. Your friend may be writing the same exam in the afternoon, but you are writing in the forenoon session. Because in that case, it's not, don't think that you are writing in the same paper. Same question set is being used. No. We'll be using a different set of question paper for the forenoon session and the afternoon session. So if you are selecting the course in such a way that same exam date is there for both the exam. For one exam, it will be appearing in the morning. Another exam will be appearing in the afternoon. Exam fee, someone was asking, exam fee is 1000 rupees per course. That is irrespective of its duration. Whether it's 10 hours, 20 hours, 
or 30 hours. Fee remains same. Exam is proctored. That means you have to go to the exam center, which will be uh, within a state. There will be at least the state capitals are covered. 200 centers mean there are many other smaller cities are also covered. It depends on whether we have got adequate number of students to be accommodated in a particular center. If we do not get a good number of students, then they may have to travel a little far. But we try to put the exam center as close to you. Okay. Fee waiver. 50% fee waiver is available for the SCST and physically challenged candidates with more than 40% disability. How do you pay the fee? You pay the fee online using any of the payment methods that we usually encounter these days. Or else, if the college desires, the college can collect the fees uh, and deposit it or transfer it to NPTEL account using NEFT or demand drop. We also, as we said that we have got more than 60 partner, industry partners with whom we are working. So we try to find uh, some financial support from them to uh, meet the aspiration of the needy students. We understand that there could be many students who are really needy, but meritorious. In that case, if they are not in a position to say, pay thousand rupees fee, the colleges can actually recommend the name of those candidates, needy students, after evaluation of their financial status and recommend to NPTEL. If NPTEL has got adequate fund in that coffer, in that uh, for this purpose, then we try to give an approval for fee waiver. Fee waiver is for 50% and for only one course of a particular student. That means if the candidate is writing for two exams, we'll be giving fee waiver only for one course. Okay, how it works? The student will initially, student will get the fee waiver approval. They will submit the 1000 rupees fee in the beginning. If they complete the course successfully and eligible to become, uh, get a certificate, in that case, their 50% fee will be refunded or reimbursed to their account. Okay. Final exam is conducted through our examination partner TCS in their ION platform. That is the reason I said the exam is conducted in all cities in TCS ION approved centers. That means TCS has got their exam partner has got their own centers in many places. So they will try to put their uh, put uh, conduct the exam in that center in case some cities, good number of students are there, but the exam partner does not have their own resources in place, then they will find other avenues and maybe your college will be identified. But NPTEL does not guarantee that your college will be home exam center. It's purely the decision of exam partner. Exam is conducted in a semester for three days, one in March or September or in twice in April, two days in April and October. So three days in a semester, the exam will be conducted, two sessions on each day, morning between nine to 12, afternoon between two to five. Exam duration is three hours. You are permitted to leave the exam hall after, only after one hour, 30 minutes. No calculators are permitted to be carried into the exam hall. On-screen calculators are there, you have to utilize that. So if you are taking a course that requires uses of calculators, do practice the online calculators, which the links are provided to you beforehand. Okay. Also, you must carry a government issued photo ID card to the exam center for admission into the exam hall. And if you are willing to write for register for two exams or more than two exams, and if you want the same exam center should be allocated to you so that you can write two exams, one in the forenoon and one in the afternoon. Please ensure that you use the same email ID for course enrollment and course, course registration, exam registration. Okay, because we identify you through your email ID only. Grading is five point grading, less than 40 cumulative total. That is 25% from assignment, 75% from the final exam. If the total is less than 40, we do not consider you successful and we do not provide you any certificate, not even participation certificate. However, if you score above 40, we give you certificate and certificates carry different logos, markings, depending on your performance. If it is between 40 to 59, we say 
we have successfully completed the course. 60 to 100 marks, we put a elite word. This red and white elite word will be pasted or printed on your certificate, top of the certificate. If it is between 60 to 74, only the elite word will be there. 75 to 89, it will have elite word as well as the silver tag. In case of score above 90, between 90 to 100, you will have elite and gold tag. In addition to that, suppose a course has got more than 100 people completing the course successfully. They are eligible to get the certificate. In that case, if you are within top 1% scorer, 2% or 5% scorer, we do provide a topper seal also in the certificate with proper marking, whether you are within top 1%, 2% or 5%. Also, the certificates carry the logo of the institution that is offering the course. If the course was offered by, say, IIT Guwahati, the logo of IIT Guwahati will be there. Swam logo will be there. Your name, photograph, it will also carry uh, the QR code. That is, if you produce that certificate, uh, certificate to your college, the college will be able to verify the authenticity of the certificate just by scanning using the QR code scanner in a mobile. The same certificate can be accessed from our NPTEL server through the QR code scanner. Okay. We also mentioned the credit equivalency of the course. 10 hour course, we say it's a one credit course, 20 hours is two credit, and 30 hours is three credit. However, the certificate also mentions that the universities and autonomous colleges are free to enhance this credit equivalency to higher points. That is, they can make three credits to five credits, four credits as they deem fit. Because there are many other components associated with the credit equivalency point uh, issues. This is how a sample certificate will look like. Sadhana you are asking, please answer one more thing that do we get live lectures or not? I clearly mentioned these are recorded lectures avail made available to you through the portal, which you access through online mode. So it's not live lecture. Live lecture means only the interaction. The way you are interacting with me today, same interaction takes place in the course once the course goes live. Once in a month, the faculty will be there to help you in, your, in addressing your concerns about the course through live session. That is called YouTube live session. Okay, but otherwise the whole course contents are pre-recorded and made available through you to YouTube or nptl.acd in portal. None of these lectures are delivered live. They are recorded, edited version of the lectures. Okay, I hope I, I, I clear, uh, this point is clear to you. Umar, uh, you are asking, sir, what about CSR NET mathematics coaching? I think I'll talk about this a little later. Please wait. The backside of the certificate carries these all data. It has got the scoring pattern, QR code, credit equivalency, everything is mentioned here. If you are doing multiple courses, then definitely you can actually generate a consolidated transcript or mark sheet telling, okay, these are the courses I have completed. I want to show it in a single sheet, single document. That is also possible. You don't have to pay any fee. You can generate it. The soft copy of this can be generated. So general questions that we anticipate, uh, most of the things I have answered, but still I'll, uh, touch upon this, how many courses can I enroll? Irrespective of my background, if any of the discipline that suits me, irrespective of my age, gender, academic background, I can enroll in any number of courses. 592 courses are on offer. If I feel that I am interested for 20 courses, no one stops me. These courses are absolutely free. You don't pay any money for joining these courses. Learning process is absolutely free, supported by the ministry. However, if you are looking for the certificate, then you have to pay the fee of 1000 rupees or 500 rupees as the case may be. Then only you get to write the certification exam and on completion of that, you get certificate. Otherwise for learning purposes, joining into the course, going to the reading material, submitting the assignments, interacting with the teacher does not require any payment. If your college is a local chapter or not, it's immaterial. 
if you are interested you can join if it is not a local chapter just select that okay your college is not a local chapter in the local chapter college list you will find at the bottom it is written other o t h e r just write what is appropriate for you okay so it is not mandatory that you have to be from a local chapter to join into the course someone asked already that i am in class such and such can i join into the course yes you can join as i said irrespective of your academic background and age gender you can join how many certificate examinations i can write in a semester three days of exam in a semester each day two two exams can be taken so at max you can write for six exams but for that also you have to choose the courses in such a way that only two exams are clashing on a particular day so that you can take the exam for one in the morning and one in the afternoon so you can enroll in 20 courses but you can maximum write certification exam for six courses in a semester if you select the courses appropriately i have not submitted a assignment i i have already answered to that if you do not submit adequate number of assignments then your average score goes down uh, the 25% score that comes out from the assignment will be reduced that is what however if it falls below 40% you do not qualify to get a certificate okay if you have done the course this semester submitted all the assignments but you have not written the exam next to next semester suppose that course is being offered many of the times we get a query will my the previous assignments will be carried forward our answer is no whenever you are joining the course for certification you have to start from the beginning because that assignment score only will be valid for that semester okay it will not be carried forward for the future semesters will i get same exam center if i want to write exam for more than one course in a particular exam date yes if there are two exams you have chosen a set of courses for which two courses have got the same exam if you use your same email id then there is no reason why you should be getting different exam center for more morning and afternoon okay now someone are asking what's the benefit uh let me just go a little out of track here definitely this is a very important question pertinent question that why should i do why should i break my head on these nptel courses i am doing very well in my regular university courses and all think okay what are the career options available to you and what are the challenges before you one possibility is that you will be joining an industry after completion of your 3 years or 4 years program okay think that okay is it the scenario that 100% of your batchmates will be getting placed may or may not be okay because the statistics says that not all of our engineering graduates are employable due to various reasons okay so it is true that 100% of the graduates who are graduating from the colleges do not get a suitable employment suitable employment means after graduation if you get a job of 10000 rupees per month that's not a gainful employment so if you want to get a gainful employment definitely you need to look into what is the requirement of the industry and prepare yourself find out is there any gap what i am learning today and what i am expected to face in the interview board am i meeting the gaps or not aspiration of the industry or the prospective employer then some people might be thinking okay i am looking for i'll be joining cracking through the csi and net someone was asking or maybe you are looking for the gate examination is your whatever you have studied in your regular university you might have got cgp of 9 is it adequate to crack or get very good score in uh, gate examination and maybe um, fetch a job in the psu or get a berth in any of the top institutes like iits and all may not be the case or also if you have got some say business idea very good ideas how do you start the business having just the idea may not be sufficient you need to know lot of other things also how do you prepare according how do you prepare for that the regular university system may not give you enough exposure on that also so there are possible gaps in every area whether you are looking for the jobs sufficient uh, Um, in-depth knowledge may not be available uh, through your university, whatever you have studied in your 
to get your CGP of eight, seven may not be adequate. You may have to need uh, or explore other avenues to get in-depth knowledge of the particular subject, core courses, particularly which are applicable for the GATE exam. Okay. The reports which are coming from different uh, bodies, like say World Economic Forum report, uh, that future of jobs, it says that half-life of the skill, the way you are trained in your college, the skill sets that you develop, the half-life of that skill may not be more than five years. Okay, that is shrinking every day because of the automation taking place in every sphere of the industry. But the way AI machine learning, they are actually changing the whole working environment right from the production line to the supply chain management. The job nature of job is changing every day and there is a need to update that knowledge. Okay, you see the uh, bottom right picture. It says that the, this is taken from that report only. It is suggesting that because of the increase in automation by 14% during 2020 to 2025, that is anticipation, it is suggesting that many of the jobs will be requiring a different skill set and the human intervention, the jobs that require interim human intervention will be diminishing by the same amount. 67 to 53%. And almost 50% of the people who are in the industry will require further training or reskilling operation to remain competitive in the job market. Our own uh, NASCOM, FICI, Federation of Indian Chamber of Commerce and IT sector, that uh, NASCOM, they carried out a survey along with Ernest and Young. They, and they suggested that during 2017 to 2022, they studied the impact of use of industry 4.0 or uh, you can say the fourth industrial revolution or exponential technology, how it impacts different sectors. They just carried out survey for five sectors, IT sector, banking, financial service, insurance sectors, automobile, retail, apparel, and leather. And you can see highest impact was felt in IT sector business and banking insurance sectors. Medium impact in automobile retail, low impact in apparel and leather. How is the impact? They suggested that during 2017 to 2022 in India, the nature of job which was there in 2017, you can say 54% of the jobs will be remaining same, but other 46% jobs will require a different skill set. 9% of the job will be created in the areas where you really do not know what type of expertise will be required. And 37% will be deployed in jobs that have radically changed my skill set. Now you are going through a syllabus, which was might be implemented through AI City in 2018, but it will be revised maybe after 10 years or so. So there is a regular change coming in the industry because of the technological innovations taking place. But definitely our syllabuses will not be changed so frequently. But platforms like NPTEL giving you as an opportunity to keep yourself in touch with the recent changes that are taking place in the industry, offering the courses not only from the core areas, but also from the emerging areas. Maybe if you can explore some of these courses, that will be helpful for you to do well in the competitive exam uh, or job market. We see now, because of the different industrial revolutions taking place over different centuries, how production line concept has changed. A mechanization concept came into the first industrial revolution through uses of steam engine. Mass production concepts came through uses of electricity and oil-based power. Automated production systems were started by use of electronics and information technology and the third revolution, now in the, we are in the era of fourth industrial revolution, which you call is that four, uh, industry 4.0. Okay, under this you will find uh, the production environment is changing the way um, uh, we find a lot of automation taking place through robots, drones, blockchain, um, uh, 3D printing, sensor networks, cloud computing, artificial intelligence, machine learning, all these terminologies are coming whether it's a production line or you can say our day-to-day -day life are influenced by the use of such technologies. Keeping that trend in mind, even AICT, which came out with a new academic uh, curriculum 
in 2018 has actually identified that okay in 2022 they said that minor degrees from the emerging areas are the need of the day so they suggested minor degrees in the area of internet of things data science artificial intelligence machine learning cyber security augmented reality virtual reality robotics blockchain each are minor degrees it has got lot of courses maybe 5 6 8 courses are there under each discipline but many of the colleges and universities do not have adequate infrastructure to start teaching those subjects but many of these courses are now uh, courses aligning with this areas are now available in the nptel possibly you can take that path and learn the things that are required that are prescribed by aict also okay if you talk about the gate exam jam exam and all that requires in depth understanding of your core subjects okay so in depth understanding of the core subjects will require not only your syllabus centric thing but also you may have to explore a lot of library resources look for some standard reference books practice lot of problems many people take the path of either library resources or join some coaching classes since nptel courses are also focusing on core courses okay nptel courses offered by iits they focus on many of the core courses from the uh, which are relevant for the gate csi and net or maybe uh, jam exam so you can also explore these courses for developing your understanding or in depth understanding of the core courses so that you do well in your competitive exams okay if you start your own business having just the knowledge of the uh, say innovation idea is not adequate you really need to convince the people so that they support you financially they pump in money so there should be a huge communication skill to convince the people that why they should invest in your company you should have a team building effort identify the people who will be able to deliver the goods to you there could be failures in the beginning how do you overcome from that so you should have a clear uh, say ability business strategy learn from the mistakes of the past you should have enough courage this sticking capability all these things you have got lot of courses coming in nptel which will possibly train you on this front also so nptel will not only offer you core courses to prepare better for your competitive examinations it will offer courses it offers courses from emerging areas that prepares better for the job market it gives you uh, courses from the areas which will give a lot of uh, you can see insights into the entrepreneurship skills so that you know before jumping into this business also what industry says that almost equal weightage in the interview phase lies in the soft skill as that of the hard skill if you are from say uh, civil engineering the civil engineering knowledge is almost at par with the soft skill knowledge as far as the job job getting a job is concerned because until unless you know how to present yourself how to express yourself it will be difficult for you to get the job once you join in the industry you will not be working alone you will be working in a group so there are certain qualities that needs to be developed within you so that you are not rejected so soft skills are extremely vital and common soft skills that every employer irrespective of your academic background will be looking for a problem solving communication active learning resilience resilience flexibility digital dexterity because we are now everything is digital now analytical and critical thinking this is the indian skills report that i am referring to right now okay so these are the skills are required there are many courses in nptel that focuses on these areas you can also explore these courses whether these courses are for credit transfer or not it's your career no one stops you in finding the avenues and prepare yourself for your better prospect now you have already suppose done a course let me uh, take some courses um, uh, questions manish you are asking exams held online from home or center is given for in i think uh, you have missed the point i have already said that you can learn the subject from your home but for writing the exam it is mandatory that you have to come to the exam center with a government issued photo id card 
and write the exam so there is no uh, question of writing the exams from home uh, someone called kst is right asking in which month exam is conducted i think again i i refer to the slides i have clearly shown you that when the exams are conducted exam dates are either in march once or in april if you just go to the course page everything is written when is the exam for this particular course it is conducted in march and april or september october in september and in march one day and october and april on two days four session or two session total six session in a semester exams will be conducted but exam has to be taken from exam center only uh, exam pattern uh, if you are exposed to the assignment exam final exam also will be tested on the similar line but there will be a lot of questions which will be open ended uh, where the faculty might be interested to test your understanding of the course so certainly some part of the questions will be aligned with your the type of problem that you have been exposed every week but again there will be some questions which will be open ended but most of the cases it will be computer uh, you can say it will be it will be online that means the problem will come onto your screen you will be solving the problems there and selecting the appropriate answer or keying in the appropriate answer in the box okay even if it is offline exam for some courses you may have offline exam the exam paper will come in the computer screen and you will be given a sheet of answer script where you will be using pen paper uh, mode for writing the answer and this will be sent to the examiner for evaluation so whether it is the online exam or offline exam it is the question paper will come into the uh, computer only you answer directly onto the computer in an online mode but in offline mode the question papers are in the screen you are given a exam say answer script where you will be writing your answer that's only difference but you have to physically move to the exam center prakash you are asking can i join courses from nepal yes you are most welcome to join the courses uh, many of the uh, we find particularly um, in kolkata exam centers we find many people come from bangladesh to write the exam in bombay some people from abroad they come here now we'll show you in the some coming slides we are conducting the exam in few outside uh, country centers also like abu dhabi uh, dubai all these places so from nepal you can definitely take the exam and if you can come to the nearby exam center in india you can write the exam also okay you can do the course from your place but if for writing the examination you have to come to the exam center that is nearby a uh, domain certification suppose you have done a course some people were asking in the early phase that okay which all courses i should take if i want to pursue a career in this particular area so now you, you know that okay aict has now identified there are certain emerging areas uh, which are more on the computer science areas only but uh, suppose you are in the mechanical engineering civil engineering chemical engineering mining engineering there could be other areas where you have got lot of expertise requirement and one course just doing a one course may not be adequate so many people they ask uh, even asked in this forum which are the courses that are most suitable so what we tell is that we have already identified a set of 51 domains from different areas 12 disciplines 51 domains have been identified where we have specified that okay if you do these set of courses from this area you get an expertise in this so maybe whether you are in the first year or second year you can choose the courses from that particular domain so that by the time you complete your graduation you are equipped with a domain certification that is which says that nptel certifies that you have got adequate expertise on that domain which are the courses that i'll show you little later here a set of four courses and elective courses are given maybe three or four core courses two or three elective courses you have to complete it within a timeline of 3 years starting to completion 3 years timeline and average score should be 60 individual score should not fall below 55 but average score should be at least 50 if you meet all these criteria 
then you get a domain certificate. Which are the areas we have identified? Major disciplines like aerospace, biotechnology, bioscience, or bioengineering, chemical, civil, computer science, electrical, faculty, humanities, social science, management, mathematics, mechanical engineering, metallurgy, and materials engineering. These are the domains we are, or uh, disciplines we have identified. And from there, you can see the domains that we have identified. Let me uh, just refer to the domains here. Domain certification, if you just look here, you will find you know more about the domain and courses. Say you are from electrical engineering, click onto the electrical engineering, you have got five domains. VLSI design, communication and signal processing, power system, power electronics, photonics, control and instrumentation. Suppose you are looking for the VLSI design domain expertise. Click on here. You have got four core courses and two elective courses. So total six elective courses, six courses you have to select in such a way that the total course duration is at least 60 weeks. Okay. Now here the course names are given. In case you find, okay, under one, there are three options. Either you have to do this course, this course, or this course. Either of three, this three courses, you have to complete one course within the three years timeline. Whether this course is currently available for enrollment or not, that you can check it here. Yes, this course is currently available. So if you are looking for a set of courses to be completed from a domain or looking for doing the domain certification, then just check this page, which area you are looking and select, okay, which are the courses currently available and which are the courses I should take. Select the course in such a way that you do not have two courses having exam date on the same day. If you want to join into the course, just click here. It will directly take to the Swayam course enrollment page. Okay, this is how and further processes I've already demonstrated. On completion of these courses, you get a domain certification where your photographs will be there. The domain that you have got uh, or the expertise area that will be mentioned here, the courses that you have done, your performance will be mentioned here. The many students as well as faculty members are doing this course, uh, these domains, uh, completing the domains courses along with the members who are currently employed in the industry. Okay. Now someone is asking about the GATE courses. Uh, I think it's better to show you directly from the portal. You just go to gate.nptl.ac.in. This is a GATE preparation platform. Suppose you are looking for, uh, so you are interested for some PSU job, which is linked to GATE examination, or you want to aspire to join some higher educational institution that requires good GATE score. You can actually refer to the NPTEL lectures. There are two types of mapping. One is the syllabus oriented mapping. That is you click onto the course. It gives you the areas where we have linked our NPTEL courses. Suppose you are from civil engineering, click onto the civil engineering, then the core courses, which are actually connected to the GET syllabus. Says you are structural engineering. Select structural engineering. Here you can select the subtopic that you are looking for. Say structural analysis. These are the topics which are there. There are many nine means on 82 entries are there. If you are looking for, okay, I am looking for this particular area, click here, that particular video will open. So based on the discipline that you are looking, you can select subtopic there. And from there, you get directly connected to the video lecture from NPTEL that will give you insight knowledge about that particular core course. Okay. It may not be the case that, okay, you have thoroughly understood the concept, but now you want to solve the problems. How do NPTEL provides help there? You have got a video solution. That is here, say electronics and communication engineering, here I can select either year-wise or topic-wise. Suppose I select year-wise, say 2020 question paper. Then 2020 question paper, I will have, say, Question number 26, I want to so see the solution. This is the solution video. So both way you are given some connectivity with NPTEL lecture where either it gives, tells you, okay, in-depth knowledge about this particular code area is discussed in this NPTEL, or if you have struck with some particular problem 
which NPT lecture discusses on this particular uh, topic. Okay, that is how we help the uh, say uh, students who are interested for appearing in the gate examination. Then comes credit transfer. Credit transfer requires that okay, fourteen hours of learning is one credit. So for that ten hour course, we'll have at least ten hours of involvement for the on the part of the students. So they'll be spending at least ten hours in going through the videos, even if they gone for if they go for once only. So ten hours will be spent there, and on an average, we have got one assignment per week. So taking at least one hour per week for the assignment solution, solving assignment problems. A candidate is expected to spend 14 hours purely on these two count only. But you have got many other factors, like you'll be interacting with the teacher, you'll be going through the supplementary study materials. So considering all these issues, the colleges and the universities, autonomous colleges and universities are free to add extra credits. That provision is already there in the AICT and UGC uh, regulation. UGC has already specified during the pandemic era that um, what it used to be 20 percent credit can be taken from the SOYAM courses. Now it can be hiked to 40 percent. And SOYAM and NPTEL they are interlinked. That means under SOYAM, you have got eight, nine national coordinators. Every course offered by NPTEL is under SOYAM, and all NPTEL courses are actually SOYAM courses. Okay. For credit transfer process, what they should do? As we have shown here, first what they, sh uh, they should check here, they will go to nptl.ac. Suppose they are looking for the credit transfer, they will go to nptl.ac.in, then go to NPTEL online certification or NOC. Here they have got the semester information. We try to publicize the list of courses which are forthcoming in the maybe during next one year through this. So if someone is, some colleges are looking for the identifying the courses that will be coming in the coming semester, select here July 2022, here it has got a complete tentative course list. This is tentative, we'll be frequently updating. So some idea the people can get from uh, this list that which are the forthcoming courses for the next semester. Okay, these are the redone courses, but many new courses will be added as and when the courses are approved. So the credit transfer process requires that first you go through the list that we publish at least six months in advance. Then the academic council can take a decision on the courses that they will be looking for credit transfer. It could be core course, it could be elective course, or it could be other possible type of courses. Final is on the grade transfer mechanism. NPTEL has got its own grading scheme that may be accepted as it is, or it can maybe enhanced in a different way. So the grading scheme must be clearly specified. NPTEL, suppose someone has taken the course, but he or she has not cleared the course or been unsuccessful. NPTEL, since does not, he does not con uh, conduct the supplementary examination. So there should be some mechanism to find avenues like, okay, if the candidate has not been successful, how the credit transfer takes place. What is the alternate mechanism to conduct the exam and offer the grades? So that mechanism has to be clearly spelled out. Then notify the students uh, that, okay, these are the courses which are currently available or which will be available for credit transfer in the coming semester. This can be notified well in advance. There are certain important points. Uh, that is, as I said, that we do not conduct NPTEL supplementary exam. So final year, students or the final semester student, we do not encourage them to take these courses. In case they are unfortunately unsuccessful in this course, then it becomes an issue for them to get the uh, final certificate. Okay. And also sometimes our exam uh, schedules, although we mentioned that, okay, we'll be de declaring our result and giving this time, but because of some unfortunate situation, if the, there is a delay in timeline, and sometimes we get a request from the students and the colleges that please declare the results for our students. We cannot accommodate that request. So we only say that for final year students, try to avoid uh, say keeping these courses for credit transfer only for that group of students. 
you can also suggest that okay for the first year second year student maybe advice to take the courses from uh, domain courses that is so that on completion of these courses not only they can earn their uh, btech honors or minor degrees but also will get an expertise from a particular area it's good that okay instead of having identified okay you have to do such course x or y if you can give an option that okay these are the set of courses the students are free to choose the course from the list that may be a good idea we uh, at iits are also uh, implementing the credit transfer uh, transfer scheme in some or other way iit madras iit kanpur rurki palakkad tirupati bombay they have approved pay transfer of nptel courses for their undergraduate students iit kgp has approved it for working professional joining the phd programs now if you are doing very well in the course then we do provide some assistance to you to do internship under the same faculty in iit system which is a good opportunity because you will be exposed to the research group uh, that the, of the faculty you will be directly interacting with the faculty working with the research group students okay so who are eligible to get this usually the course stoppers if you are within top 1% to 5% we usually get in touch with you and if you are interested you can apply to nptel internship this email id with the copy of your resume and last two semester grade sheet this data is if you are interested the your data will be passed on to the faculty and faculty will select maybe two candidates per batch uh, in a semester which will be conducted uh, the internship will be conducted during the summer or winter breaks and during this period the which will be actually mutually decided by the faculty and the students if you are selected for that you will be coming to iit and undergoing the internship in the institute for that first day you have to report to the local nptel office then after completion of the official formalities you will be reporting back to the uh, department of the faculty and working there for the designated period what is the period we offer an opportunity to work for a maximum duration of 8 weeks it can be 2 weeks 4 weeks 6 weeks or 8 weeks after completion of the course you have to produce a uh, what's called a report you have to provide as a report and on completion or submission of the report we provide you a uh, an internship certificate from iit and also will reimburse you uh, financially to the extent of 2500 rupees per 2 weeks okay so the maximum financial support available is 10000 rupees for 8 weeks we try to provide some accommodation for you within the institute but it's not guaranteed in case we are not able to provide the accommodation support from iit in that case you have to make your own arrangement nearby and uh, do the internship here this is how a sample internship certificate uh, looks like in addition to the domain certificate that you get we also recognize your effort if you have done a good number of courses within a certain timeline and your performance has been as per the criteria set for that we try to provide some nomenclature against your name like we say that you are nptel superstar enthusiast motivated learner evangelist or nptel discipline stars or believers and we do provide uh, say some sort of a token memento to you as well as your names and photographs are reflected in the nptel.sc.in portal okay nptel star learners you can see during july to december 113 uh, domain scholars 113 learners have completed the domain certification and the superstars evangelists these numbers are shown so these are becoming quite popular more and more number of students are taking these courses and being recognized by this group in addition to what we offer the courses from the core emerging areas uh, we also understand the soft skill play a very key role in getting your jobs doing well in the job interviews so how nptel helps you if you are from the course stoppers or nptel star colleges or from the say tier 2 tier 3 colleges you here where you have got um, you, you are interested to impart soft skill training and you need the support of nptel you can write back to us so the students from tier 2 3 3 colleges if they are interested or the topper students they are given opportunity to undergo the soft skill training conducted by 
NPTEL. We have got two versions. One is a shorter version of maybe one week, during which we try to assess your employability opportunity, tell you, okay, what is your shortcomings? Uh, this is conducted, we conduct regular, say, interactive group uh, sessions. Uh, then mock interviews, spoken English test, so that you know what are the shortcomings and based on the suggestion provided by the expert, you can improve on that. So it's a group of 10 people with one-to-one -one mock interviews. You substantially gain insights into your shortcomings and take corrective action to improve on that. There is a, uh, you can say longer version of a fortnight where 20 hours of training program is conducted. Here 20, NPTEL starts are conduct, uh, say, invited in this program. Per batch, once in a month, we conduct a training. During this thing, not only for pre training, post training, online mock interviews are conducted, employability assessment test is conducted. What you do in the shorter version, same thing is conducted here also. Additional stress is there. Okay, you'll be exposed to your communication skill, writing skill, how do you prepare your better resume? Interpersonal skill, the importance of social networking is very big these days. How do you connect it to the social networking groups and explore the job opportunities? Every day, some takeaway assignments are uh, given to the students so that at the end of the day, instead of in addition to what they hear from the experts during the day, they will also solve certain problems and come out with that and there will be a discussion in the next day so that they understand where they went wrong. Minimum 80% attendance is mandatory to get the participation certificate. After doing these courses, the students have already uh, confirmed that they are getting lot of lot of benefit for the job placements. And that data I will show you. We are also conducting the lab of uh, in-person lab certification program. For certain courses, we invite the students to uh, an IIT or any other institution identified for that where the students will be coming and working in that particular institution for five days on a particular lab setup, or will be exposed to a set of laboratory experiments related to that course. And on the last day, they will be given, uh, they will be exposed, they, the students will be writing an exam. If you are qualifying in that examination, you'll be given a lab certification course certificate. Age, as some student was asking, can I take the course? I'm in class 10 or 11. Yes, you can see the data. The students from age group 10 to 15 till 86 to 90 are already there in the course program. So it's not that you are from second year, third year, first year student group. So you are only looking for these courses. The students or the indoor candidates, these are spread across uh, you can say very young of 10 years to 90 years. Okay. And it's not that they do only one or two courses. You will find above 20 uh, courses done by the people are is a good number of people who have done. And maximum number of four course, courses done by one candidate who has done uh, 47. There are a few people who have done more than 30 courses also. Okay. And what are their backgrounds? You find it's not that, okay, they are faculty only. There are many students, they are employed. Uh, this person who started uh, doing the NPTEL courses as a student is currently, uh, he leads the table of doing the maximum number of courses and currently employed as a scientist, employed as a scientist in, uh, in DRD. After doing the NPTEL courses and soft skill training, uh, people have confirmed their, uh, you can say, the achievements. They say that after soft skill training, the students are able to get job in the below mentioned companies. Uh, it has got TCS, uh, you have got IBM, sorry, IBM, HCL Technologies, LG Electronics, LNT Electrica. So these all companies, they found that, okay, the soft skill training has been extremely beneficial for them. Similarly, NPTEL has been supporting them in their job opportunities. Infosys, Capgemini, uh, Tejas Network, Willie Matri, these are the places where our students have been placed, particularly the students who have done very well in the NPTEL program. NPTEL courses also helps the faculty members in their career progression path. So certain courses are already identified that they are faculty development program courses, particularly the AICT, sorry, the elective courses and the courses from the emerging areas are FDP courses. On completion of these courses, a faculty member will be getting 
a FDP certificate provided during the exam registration, they identify the requirement and pay the requisite fee. This additional 100 rupees fee will be collected from the student uh, faculty members. Okay, the certificate will be jointly signed by the NPTEL coordinator from IIT Madras and AICT coordinator. You see, we are the name of the candidate, course name, and the consolidated score. So, FTP certificate cases, the faculty will be getting two certificates one certificate from NPTEL for course completion, another certificate from uh, the jointly signed by the NPTEL and AICTE. For FDP certificate, how do we calculate the duration? Four weeks course will be taken as equivalent to half week FDP. Half FDP of one week, eight week course is considered as a full FDP of one week, and 12 week course is considered as one and a half FDP. Okay. Now we have provided the course, we have provided the subskill training opportunities under NPTEL. We also invite career guidance expert and the industry experts to tell to our prospective students, our students or learners, what is the trend in the industry? How do they choose a right career path? Okay, if you are looking for say a career path in journalism, film studies, uh, say uh, civil services, or uh, want to become a specialist in say uh, in a particular area of engineering, what are the, uh, you can say, um, things that you know, you should know. So we regularly invite the industry experts and career guidance experts and conduct such one hour lecture sessions. These are periodically conducted. We have conducted more than 230 sessions as of now. This repository is available here. You can see here, if you just go to nptl.ac.in, here under resources, you can see special lecture series events, archive lectures are already here. You can invite the students to view this lecture. These are, you can see from Capgemini, Google, um, as well as the universities from IIT Bombay and all, people have given lectures on a certain topics. Maybe it's a good idea if you can explore this yourself and maybe the relevant one you can also tell to the students so that they take benefit of this okay local chapters uh, we are connected with more than 4500 local chapters which are spread across the length and breadth of the country also our footprint is now spread outside india we have got more than 40 local chapters outside india also the names and uh, number of colleges with whom we are connected is shown. So once we are connected to outside local chapters, definitely there is a question like someone from Nepal asked, uh, can I take the course? So if there are local chapters outside India, so there should be some mechanism to conduct the exam for those students also. So currently we have conducting in-person uh, exams in Dubai, Abu Dhabi and Sarja, but we are exploring the possibility of conducting the exam in more and more cities. We have recently fixed up partners in Colombo and Jaffna, and in the coming days, we expect to spread our horizon and reach out to more number of students from other countries and cities. Okay, uh, based on the performance of the local chapter students, the colleges are also recognized. Okay, but the maximum weightage is given on the performance of the student, that is, each performance has got a score. If you are a topper, your college gets 10 marks. If you are a gold, uh, say elite gold, then eight marks. Silver, five. Similarly, some weightages are given and depending on the number of students who are within that category, this score will be calculated and the top 100 colleges will be rated as A graded colleges. That is first 10 colleges will be AAA, 11 to 50, that is 40 colleges will be rated as AA colleges and remaining 50 colleges, that is 51 to 100 will be rated as A. These top rated colleges will be felicitated in a journal workshop that you conduct um, after the exams are conducted, exams are over, results are declared in four cities um, where we invite the local chapter colleges from that region and felicitate them. And also directly interact with them to understand their needs so that we can offer the courses aligning with their requirement. Okay. We also uh, recognize the efforts of new colleges who are joining and doing well. So based new local chapter colleges, both within top 100 colleges as well as outside, 
uh, based on the faculty participation within and outside of 100 local chapter colleges based on the rating point improvement. Suppose last time your rating was such and such X, this time it has improved, you have gone towards number one. So based on the rating point improvement also, both within uh, 100 and outside 100, we uh, give a recognition. If you are from local, say, art science and engineering, art science and commerce category colleges, they are also recognized separately, both for inside and outside of 100 local chapter colleges. There are many local chapter colleges who have been continuously doing very well and within the top 100. So we rate them as LC star colleges. Okay. In addition to that, we have got uh, a requirement like, okay, ministry, as per the ministry's guidelines, we are supposed to provide your um, uh, text transcript or translated version of the lectures into multiple Indian languages. So if you are interested for that, maybe uh, it makes sense that you can actually click on for this. Uh, you can go to the beta version of nptl.ac.in here the, under the general tab. You can have apply for translation here. Here, what are languages are there? Assam is Bengali, Gujarati, Hindi, Kannada, Malayalam, Marathi, Oriya, Punjabi, Tamil, Telugu. If you have got proficiency in any of these languages and are willing to take NPTEL courses and translate it into these languages, you can volunteer for that. Initially, you'll be given one or two lectures, which you'll have to translate. Send it for the review. If the review are approved, see, then you'll be given a full job. And after completion of the work, you're, you'll be given recognition that your translated copy will bear your name as well as you'll be financially compensated to some extent. Okay, so this is how things work. In addition to what we talked about uh, so far, there is an initiative uh, you can also explore here. Uh, we have started NPTEL Plus, that is the NPTEL self-paced courses. So far we are talking about, okay, we are offering the courses from January to April or July to December, July to October. Three or say three months, two months or one month duration. But there are cases, many of the students might be interested to complete the course uh, within a very short time. They would like to take a course at their own pace and time and at their own convenience. Suppose I want to take the course now, irrespective of whether this is available in Swayam at this point of time or not. So NPTEL plus fits into that category. So if a student is interested to take the courses at their own pace and time, they decide when they want to take, then NP, they can join into the self-paced courses, but definitely these courses are not free. You have got to pay some fee for that. So you can explore what is what are the courses currently available more and more courses will be in this bracket, put into this bracket. We'd request you to uh, go for the elearn.nptl.ac.in. The link is from here. Go to beta.nptl.ac.in. Click here, NPTEL new, now introduces self-paced courses and join. I think with this, uh, I'll stop my presentation here. Uh, we are connected to you through Facebook handle, Twitter, uh, Instagram handle and all, so that you know what goes on in NPTEL front and we can meet your aspirations. Okay, with this, I stop my presentation here. If you have got any query, uh, I don't see any query pending in, uh, uh, in uh, your, what's called your uh, YouTube, only the person should, Sunanda is asking only for first hundred. I really could not feel, uh, understand what you mean by only for first hundred. The recognition is only for the first hundred colleges. That's true. If you are looking for that information, yes, it's only for the top hundred colleges which are record, uh, recognized as AAA, AA, or A. In addition to that, we have already said based on the faculty participation, based on your rating point improvement, we do recognize some other colleges also, new colleges were within this group. That's how we try to provide that, uh, you can say, recognition. Uh, over to the organizers, please. Dr. Prabhakar said. Anyone from the organizer side? 
हेलो यस सर प्लीज गो एड सर इज इट ओवर यस यस ओके ओके सर देन होट अप थैंक्स यस सर सर गुड आफ्टरनून एवरीवन टू वन एंड ऑल प्रेजेंट इट इज सच एन ऑनर फ्रॉम मी टू अपॉर्चुनिटी थैंक ऑल द डिग्नेटरीज ऑन बिहाफ ऑफ पैसिफिक स्टूडेंट टेक्नोलॉजी उदयपुर I would, I would like to express my gratitude to all esteemed delegates of the webinar for their presence and contribution to make the workshop a great success. I extend my gratitude to our honorable chief guest, Professor Shiv Shankar Das, to take out his time from his busy schedule and to grace out this event. I also thank the NBDL team for organizing such a uh, great event and awareness workshop so that students can uh, learn about these courses and uh, get insight about these programs. Once again, I would like to thank everyone for giving their valuable time. Thank you, sir. Thank you. Nisha, over to you. Aditi Madras. Okay, sir. Shall I end the live? I think you can request Balaji to drop the class. Ah, uh, yes, sir. I will inform him. हेलो ओके थैंक यू मैम थैंक यू फॉर युअर सपोर्ट एंड गाइडन्स थैंक यू वेरी मच थैंक यू मैम शुड आई लीव मैम यस मैम ओके थैंक यू वेरी मच